Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, am I? Are you? That's what I asked. A am I? I don't know. Am I? Are you ready to go crazy? I never know. What do you know? I don't know. You could say like, this is, it, yeah, I, you know, we could, should roll the opening or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. Roll the opening. <laughs> Hello, Hello and welcome back to What's Safe Word. I'm Ann. I'm Miss Christopher. And today, TikTok is not just for thirst traps and weird lip syncing and dances. Give me your, give me your best TikTok dance. You good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, less gyrating. We don't want to get age restricted. And today, I, we don't even need some bells and whistles. We are just getting right into the TikToking of it all. Because today, we're going to watch some kink talk, which, Daddy, you know what that is. Uh, kink talk is kinky TikTok. Yeah, actually. I know, I've done this before. I am a pro, I can do this. Emotional damage! So, if kink talk has not hit your FYP yet, you know what FYP is? I want to say yes for your penis. So close. <laughs> uh, for your page, for your page. It is a place where they are giving you recommended videos for you specifically. And while my FYP has definitely figured out who I am as a gay person who loves Carly Rae Jepsen, pop music, Twitch, and video games. So it is for your penis. <laughs> not entirely, but I have gotten sex ed tips, and just the tips, via TikTok. So today we're gonna react to some of those. We're gonna show you guys some queer, silly, fun, and maybe even kinky or sex positive TikToks. Daddy, do you wanna just get into it? I'll be the judge of that. Oh, what, what's, what's gonna be the tell that you enjoyed it? You will know if I laugh. <laughs> See, that's not a laugh. No. Okay. Let's go. Oh, hello there. Could I perhaps interest you in some gay? <laughs> Excellent. Come along now. Don't be shy. <laughs> Was that it? Yeah. Did you not enjoy that? He, uh, who are they supposed to be? Hello there. <laughs> hello there. Hello there. It's spelled gay, though. Good, astute uh, recognition of certain things that are homophobic policies on this platform. Oh. Hello there. There was nothing funny about that. It, 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 I was expecting like go go boys to jump out. I was expecting like, confetti, showgirls, drag queens. Hello. I didn't see any of the gay. The joke is that the algorithm found you because you're gay. Oh, I missed the algorithm part. Oh my God. <laughs> Very top of the TikTok. We well, but everything's highlighted in red down below. That's where my eye goes. Next TikTok. <laughs> now that makes more sense. It's a question that says, you have to start as a submissive, only then can you become a dominant. Okay, let's see what they say. So let's talk about this myth. You have to start as a submissive to be able to become a dominant. This particular one is oftentimes pushed by people within the kink community. Sometimes. In order to become an effective dominant, you have to go through the submissive experience. You know, you have to feel what they feel, experience what they experience. It certainly helps. The butt. When it's like butt. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, while this might work for some people, it is not an across the board thing. For those coming into the lifestyle as dominants, just because they don't go through the submissive experience doesn't make them any less empathetic or good or caring as dominants. Sure. So I agree. Here's the butt. But what was funny? Are they no, supposed to be sometimes, funny? Sometimes it's not funny. Oh, it's okay. educational. It's just educational. There okay. will be funny things in here again. So it's not like our stuff, educational and funny. Oh! They had a nice voice. It was entertaining. Oh, no, no. It's, 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 it's a very, it's very, very good. sultry voice. I was just waiting for the joke. I'm still waiting for Where the joke. Where is the joke? Where is the joke? There's no joke. Sometimes okay. it's just educational, which I okay. appreciate. Okay. And I agree kind of with this. Again, the look. Look how they spell submissive. Dollar signs. Dollar signs. So the so submissive has to pay you. <laughs> I like the point that was made, which is you don't have to be a submissive to be a dom, ah. but I will say, I think it really, really helps. I personally like to play with ops who also like bottoming. Have to be, no, but I think it's a little bit more fulfilling for me. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Next TikTok. <laughs> There's the funny. <laughs> oh, horsies. What are they floating on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. What are they floating on? Excuse me, what in the wizardry? 10 million points for Griffin Puff! What's a Salt River Wild Horse? Oh, they're not floating. They're not floating. It's perspective. No, because how, how stupid can I be? 
because I genuinely did not realize that the person filming is the person who's floating down the river and not the horse I thought the horses were on. So <laughs> magical fantasy platform floating down a river. I'm smarter than this. What's wrong with me? <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Well, it does look like they are floating. What are they standing on, though? Whoa, that's, that is, ow. What are they standing on? Oh my God. That does fuck with me. Have you ever been in a car that backs up and you think that the car next to you is actually the one moving? That's what that was. No, and I'm worried if no. that's how you drive. No. <laughs> you are both the horse in the TikTok and right here in this situation. Right? Left. Okay, next TikTok. <laughs> I stared at this for a solid 10 minutes before I realized that it's art supposed to say artisanal. Art is an ale. Artisanal. Artisanal. Oh. Graphic design artisanal. Classes. That is bad. <laughs> art <laughs> is anal. Well, maybe they were being anal I... with their art because, yeah, that's that looks like it's broken up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a little bit of a disconnect there in the design department <laughs> and uh, the 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 back door departments also. Uh, yeah. I wonder what they sell. Something artisanal. Art, art, see, art. It'd be smart if this was if this was an ad for a peach company that was called like artisanal because they have like artisanal peaches because it looks like art is. Anal. Is it artisanal or artisanal? I think it's tis, not tea. I prefer teasing people though. I know. Mm -hmm. I thought I that for the kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sexily teasing. Ooh. Hey, Pickleless Cage, you want to hear some kinky dad joke? Why, well, yes, I do. <laughs> you know the jolly green giant, right? Like, ho, 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 green giant. We're good friends. I'm a pickle. <laughs> the hell? Turns out he's kinky. In fact, he is the sub in a DS relationship. He's a collared green. <laughs> oh wait, you'll love this one. The what do you call scary. a potato that's into pain play? No idea. What tell me? Uh, a mash. Yes. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're just too much. You really think so, Pickleless Cage? I'd love to end up on one of those "What's the safe word?" TikTok <gasps> review videos, especially one where they talk about zipper magazine you know the digital pink magazine that i just so happen to be the editor-in-chief of mm. okay this is sunny wow. megatron that was a no no, no 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 oh sunny so breaking we... the fifth wall <laughs> okay for one the first joke got a snort out of me that means mm -hmm. it was funny mm -hmm. hollered grains i'm gonna have to remember that one that's a good dad joke and it's a perfect call to action to where we've gotten a good chunk of these TikToks today. Zipper Magazine, who is someone that we are working with and collaborating with very closely. To make sure that we don't only educate the kink community, but we do comedy, we do information. We make sure that people are aware of like what's going on. And it's a brand new site that you can check out in the description down below. Perfect. Yeah, I, we'll, we'll link them. I, I, <laughs> I will link you to the, the article that a lot of these TikToks are actually from. It was a good slew of fun, funny, Silly, but also informational, as you'll see as we go through this. I still like colored green. Well done, Sunny. And again, Sunny's a lovely educator as well, who helps not only manage Zipper, but just a wonderful educator. So go check them out. Again, we'll link all the people down in the description. Next, TikTok. Shout out to the first woman to kiss another woman on the mouth. Hi, welcome to Kinky <laughs> History. Let's talk about Sappho. On the island of Lesbos, Sappho oh. ran a community which educated from? girls and women, and homoerotic relations were a big part of this. Homosexual love played a massive part in conceptions of masculinity and community in ancient Greece. Is this where Wonder Woman grew up? I mean, you can see the confusion. <laughs> well, I could see your confusion. <laughs> Her poems describing love between women are still incredibly powerful today. Some even going into detail about oh. the practices of cunnilingus and oh. dildos. The island of Lesbos became connected with female homoeroticism, Can't imagine which why. is where we get the term lesbian. Prior to the 19th century, lesbian referred to anything that had come from the island of Lesbos, including things like wine. You can have lesbian wine? Yes, you could literally order lesbian wine. This changes by the end of the century to refer to a kind of love that used to be practiced in Lesbos. 
Though Aristotle was referring to fellatio as lesbiazine back in ancient Greece because it was oh. so commonly practiced on lesbos. I didn't know that. Despite her incredible writings and philosophies, Sappho was dismissed because she was just a woman, even in her time, and remembered by a lot of historians as a sex mad little whore. <laughs> often referred to as the Tenth Muse, and the power of her writings continue to resonate with a lot of people today. I've been often called the little whore, so I think, um... So you should also be on, like, a, a chapel wall I painted. should be, right? You, you, you painted, like, artistically, like, by Michelangelo, like, styled would actually be very, uh, very fun. Why aren't they called lesbozines? Lesbozines? I guess it's sounds, sounds like a lesbian magazine. <laughs> So I think I've seen her before. Yeah, she was in our last review TikToks. And I thought she was really funny before, but less I like her I like her enthusiasm and face, but does the TikToker, you know, once you get to know them, do they lose their funny? Um, I don't think so. It kind of depends on on what the person's doing and how they do their humor. Even TikTokers kind of have to change how they educate or get around algorithms by like speaking differently. So uh, while this TikTok apparently did very well, and Esme's very, very popular and well-educated. It's especially really on, good education, yeah, sex stuff. though. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying. But I just, I'm finding her facial expressions not as funny as the last time. Next TikTok. Why men are no longer dating women. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Why men are no longer dating women? Oh god, I choked. Woo! 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 Yeah! Oh, that was good. Wait, where'd you go? Woo! <laughs> Woo! No, she was way more subtle. You gotta have it behind your back. Woo! No, you have to go, you have to go, woo! Woo! Tight back. Hi, Daddy. Diamond tucked it back. Channel tucked it back. Sit on me. Bareback. <laughs> you can't say the indoor voice is outdoors. Oh my god. Oh. I, I love these chairs. You could sit on something. Diamond tucked it back. Mm -hmm. Channel tucked it back. Yep. Bareback. <laughs> it's the it's the it's the, the juxtaposition. It's the, the pause. It's the too. pause. Good. It's the the Good his, his his oven fan is on behind him and you can hear it. <laughs> and just the look off screen. Yeah, that was that was nine. <laughs> okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind if uh, I could sit on something comfortable too. <laughs> and lean back. There. Uh, yeah. With today's sponsor, a lovely, lovely mattress that you too can lay on for some sexy times <laughs> on your back. <laughs> Thank you, Helix, for being a sponsor. Now, Dad, did you know that Helix knows that everyone's different? I hope so. <laughs> That's why they have that quiz. <laughs> the Helix Sleep Quiz, which you can take by yourself or with a partner and respectfully put in how you like to sleep. I'm a side sleeper, Daddy's a back sleeper. You can put in your firmness options. I'm more of a medium and Daddy's more of firm. And because some of us are a little older, we can say if we sometimes or often get some back pain because some of us are old. I am as young as the day is long. It's it's already 6 p.m. I know. I'm not young. <laughs> Take a nap. Take a nap on my Helix mattress. But we ended up with a what, Daddy? A Dusk Lux. And, Daddy, how are you enjoying it? I love my Dusk Lux. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Dusk, dusk, dusk Lux. Dusk, dusk, dusk Lux. Oh, dusk Lux. Yep. And since getting our mattresses, I've actually never had sleep that was this good. And because Helix has springs and this lovely like cushioning sensation, they're not only the best mattress for sex, but they're just the best mattress to get a good night's sleep. And before I got this mattress, I had my other mattress for over 10 years. Plus, Helix not only ships to you very, what daddy? Quickly. And when you open up that box, daddy, what sound does it make? I wish it went, woo! <laughs> Could you imagine if you opened the mattress and it went, whoa! <laughs> if you've ever 
ever bought a mattress, there is that nagging sensation of like, ooh, is this the right mattress for me? I don't know if I like this. So we especially like that they have a hundred night sleep trial. So over three months for free that you get to try it out. And if you don't like it, you can ship it back and you get a free refund. And don't forget, Helix has a 10 year warranty. And they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So thank you again, Helix Sleep. Don't forget to use that offer code WAT to check out for up to $200 off your own mattress. And on to the next TikToks. Woo! Woo! I'm sorry, but if there's like a dom and sub relationship, but the girl is the sub and the guy is the dom, I'm gonna have to kink shame a little bit. I don't know. It just seems like it's not subversive at all. I feel like that's just like vanilla sex at that point, you know? Sometimes BDSM is misogyny. What about it is like kinky? What about it is like subversive? You know what I mean? No. No, I did. Oh my How God. is that vanilla sex? He has complete control over my life. He tells me every single thing to do. You know, I don't really have any like body autonomy um, it, while doing sex. And it's just like, girl. Oh, honey. <laughs> maybe if it was like the other way around, then like, yeah, maybe, you know, like I wouldn't do Wait, that. It's misogyny if it's I, I, one way, but it's fine the <laughs> other way around. Like you really out here letting a man choke you? A man- With consent, yeah. Calling choke you a me, slut? Daddy. No. Later, not right now. I mean, if I had to choke a dude, you know, if I had to like slap him and call him like an ugly little book, then like, yeah, I would enjoy it. <laughs> so but, like, she, she enjoys it, it when me? she's doming, no, but you. not when an opposite sex is doming. You just described the plot of Fifty Shades of Grey, which is fucked up. <laughs> Sometimes BDSM can be misogynistic, but that does sure. not, that is not good BDSM. But and not that for is the reason she said. And definitely not for the reason she had, <laughs> which was when it's a man doing it to a woman. Right. No, that's uh, wrong. Yeah. But when a woman doing it to a man, oh, absolutely. I'll get that buff. Yeah, that was confusing. That was so backwards. Sorry. That was such a bad TikTok. That's so bad. That's not how BDSM works. Stop it. Next TikTok, funnier one. Rating pervertible. Oh, oh. are we a TikTok? Subtle plot. Yeah, we're on TikTok. <laughs> what do you mean, are we? I was so, acting shocked. This actually did very well, and you'll see why. Because someone is a little low. Chaotic. Rating pervertibles while shopping. This, this, no, this one. No. Oh this no. Water three out of ten. Anymore. What do you call that technique, though? Help me, Obi Wan. You're my only. Because <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> she had those big. No, no, no. I got, I got that. <laughs> Lufa role play <laughs> six <laughs> out of ten. They're not the Lufas you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is sexist, right? Does mommy get to scrub and daddy has to do the dishes? Well, we all know you don't do your dishes. Good question. No, I, I, I did buy dishes, those. You, I did buy those. I know. I like it. Daddy scrubber 10 out of 10. Okay, did you choose the music because I was wearing a George Michael shirt? Actually, I didn't realize that until after the edit when people were like, wow, perfect edit of George Michaels on the close up of the shirt. Didn't realize that. Sometimes I don't get the joke and I've made it, you know? Bend over. No, that's. Did you like that cut into a bend over? Yeah, that was. No. To help you clean out. No, 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 no. No! I didn't. You think you're funny, don't you? I do. That was pretty funny. Is it, it all editing? I wasn't funny in real life. No, you're 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 pretty funny. I'm pretty funny. Be you funny. don't let me hit you in stores anymore, though. I've never let you hit me. Well, yes, you do, but after the fact, usually. <laughs> <sighs> My horse does this when he gets bored. Me, t me too. Is that his tongue? Me too. <laughs> My horse is also broken sometimes. <laughs> Okay, don't get any inspiration. <laughs> you like that one? I do like that one. <laughs> Save that. There are some horse ones in here, as you've seen. I made sure there were some horse ones in here for you. Tell me why, as soon as I go on prep, my wife decides, oh, I'm gonna be a baker now. Who knew it was gonna become a series of me getting confused about straight people using the term prep as a way of referring <gasps> to fucking food prepping. Oh! <laughs> I also was like, why is he on prep? <laughs> Yeah, and talking people, about this, you could still be concerned about HIV. Yeah, yeah. But it but is it's very, very clear that. of a of a medication because you know butt stuff. Because we do yeah, that's funny. lots of that. For a second, I was like, oh, he's on prep. Good for I, him. I, I, I wouldn't was, mind helping him get that pill. And then when he said his wife, I was like, huh? I mean, still wouldn't mind helping him get. But you know, I respect the marriage because you know that's funny. <laughs> okay, next. When I first came into the scene, it was all this, submission is a gift, submission is a gift. 
rolling through, as in, you know, my submission is a gift. And I understand that the point of this was in order to elevate submission to something precious. I usually agree to that. Here's my issue with it. A gift is something that is given unconditionally with no expectation of reciprocity. Uh, At least a good gift is, correct? Submission is part of a power exchange, which means you are getting and receiving. It's part of a dynamic, which means that there's movement happening, right? If your submission is to give something you're giving away with no expectation of anything in return, guess what's going to happen, mother? Burnout. Call your submission many mm. things, but please reconsider if you are one of these submission is a gift people, because you should sure as f be getting plenty in return. Actually, I agree with that. I like. I like I've that never take. thought of it that I like way. That take. No, honestly, because I've I've referred to that before, and we, I've we said referred. that before. Submission yeah. is a gift, but, but when you think about it that point. way, mm -hmm. it's very deep. But it it, I mean, it, it. I like when you kind of. It, that's literally subversive huh. thinking. I like that she kind of flipped it on its head and then you know gave it some love. Yeah, I agree with that. So what are you going to call your submission now? A uh, complicated I'm... balance of 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 reciprocity. No, twenty five dollars. Oh, okay. I'm just going to charge well, for it now. Okay, well. <laughs> Monetize that shit. Uh, you are good at that. <laughs> now bend over and let me give you some no. Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah, we hey, have wait. code spank. We need to talk to the Council of Elders. People are saying that Old Guard doesn't exist. Uh huh. There is no Council of Elders. Well, what do you. What do you mean there's no Old Only Guard? Only truly exists. Previous generation. What do you mean the Council of Elders doesn't exist? What do you mean this isn't a phone? The only thing that should be universal as a person of leather is the desire and drive to live authentically. Yes. Okay. I know Buck Harder. Yeah, we do. Amazing boot black in mm -hmm. Palm Springs. That was and good one. I've never seen this. How they have, have I never seen are this? Are you following them on TikTok? No. Well, there's a problem. But that was very funny. Very, very funny. And very true. A way to give information, but be silly. And also, what was he holding? Is that an electro box? And please. As someone on the Council of Elders, don't give away no, your phone no, number. No, 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 don't start lies. <laughs> don't start that. Next TikTok. I started the Council nah, of Elders. No, no, next TikTok. Kinky, She's fancy back. history that you didn't know. Okay, Banking became so popular during the 17th to 18th century that it widely became known as the English Vice. Oh. Brothels all over the country oh, would booty, offer booty, this booty. service, and it was enjoyed by the likes of King George the Fourth. <laughs> long before twerking, there was the 17th century dance craze of moulding the cockle bread. Very similar in style, this wanton sport involved young wenches exposing their rump Bench. and pretending to knead dough with their backside. It was oh. believed so, like cake sitting, they're kneading the dough but like bouncing on their butt. I see, I think that might get us to much, but so yeah, it's like twerking. Like I prefer mine. According to legend, Thoraini, an Athenian courtesan, avoided prosecution by exposing her breasts <laughs> to the court. The jury was so struck I'm by innocent. the perfection of her naked <laughs> Me too. that she was acquitted and remained one of the wealthiest women. And wow. if you enjoyed this lesson, go, remember girl. to keep supporting me across socials at Kinky History. That was a hodgepodge of interesting sexual facts a hodge all and a over, hodge. over the place. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the cockle bread. Yeah, no, Lots good facts. Very fun. I, I, I could see, I could see myself pulling out the cockle bread at the bar anytime, you know. And I do like. Drink. Hello, can I have a Jack and Coke, please? What this? This is just the cockle bread, <laughs> which is being blocked conveniently by Daddy, so that we can't get demonetized because. You know, there's lots of problems on the platform right now of people getting demonetized in marginalized communities, and I just think that we should all talk about it. Are they getting upset? Oh yeah, YouTube was openly called racist by a bunch of their larger creators last week, and YouTube still hadn't said anything in return. Hmm. They, they never do. Hmm. Oh wait, wait, okay. This is Midori, big old bondage enthusiast, and she says, oh, she's answering a question. A couple that's new to kink is interested in any tips for exploring kink and BDSM for the first time together as a couple. Your partner are both new to kink, and you'd like to explore that both together. We're not new. Oh, okay. One tip to start you off with, of course, I got a lot more, but Just one? you know, I only have 60 seconds. So let's say there's already your regular sexy, pleasurable, or sensual time. It may or may not include penetrative sex. I, I don't know. It could be yeah, sexual. Not right now. Let's just call it your regular good sex. And then you add to it one new thing, not more than one, just one. You're tickling. Into your regular good sex. I call this the sandwich method. Our favorite pre-existing hot things, 
new activity our favorite pre-existing hot things. It should be something simple and you thing? both get veto I, right. I kind of want a sandwich Maybe too. A I think that would have been better blindfold advice. Blindfold have a sandwich together. Now it's kinky. Aww. Yeah, I think a sandwich would really add to that experience. Of sex? Yeah, always. Yeah, we should go make a sandwich no. right now. No? no I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, we're breaking up. <laughs> Midori, please! Midori, you broke us up. <laughs> Another really great educator, though. Great bondage enthusiast. And I, I like that tip. I like that tip. It doesn't overwhelm the senses. It doesn't overwhelm a new partner or even an old partner by slowly working things into our relationship. And Midori is very good with relationship and rope tying advice. Next, TikTok. Bros chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. We're literally... <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Bros Two bros chilling in a hot tub. tub. Five feet apart because they're not gay. We're literally married. <laughs> I believe him. <laughs> you don't get this reference. No, but I think it's funny. There's literally a. Do you remember Vine? It, do bros stay five feet apart so they're not. There, so gay? there's a. There's a. <laughs> Is that a thing? Is that some thing you kids do? Two bros chilling in the hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> so did everyone start doing that? No, that was just a viral video. That, that was just one that video? That was one video that went viral yeah, back in the day. All these people did this from? On Vine, yep. Oh, interesting. And this is, the gays have taken it over. That's yeah. funny. That's just funny. Not in front of my <laughs> salad. <gasps> Margaret. I was in a toxic relationship for far too <gasps> long because um, he had a printer. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought a printer. <laughs> <laughs> how how badly would you need a printer? Was she writing scripts? When's As the last time you someone that's in a relationship with someone who has a printer? That's I put a, up with a lot of things. I <laughs> think this has got to be dated because <laughs> that's like saying because they had a fax machine. Yeah, but the relationship had to be in the nineties. Sure, but yeah, okay. we've all had a toxic relationship for no apparent. I have never right? stayed with someone for a. Belonging. Hey, printing is printing was a very cool hip technology. Okay, back in the day. So it was faxing. Margaret, I'm so sorry. I hope you're not uh, still in that relationship. Hopefully, at least the letterhead was good. And switch to mimeographs. Yeah, or just texting. Maybe I don't. I mean, I hear social media is real hot right now. So good luck. Good luck with that, though. She's TikToking. Actually, Margaret has a very fun TikTok channel. She's very funny. I I I, really I do hope it. so. She's a comedian. You know, I for know. a living, she but, better be but funny. <laughs> funny and sex positive. When you fall asleep watching Animal Planet, <gasps> look at that beautiful horse. Uh, oh my god! The giant horse cock weighs over eleven <gasps> pounds. Oh. What? <laughs> Staged, but the re the reaction is everything. That's great. Wow, that horse was beautiful. It was a very pretty horse. Wow. Um, and we're not going to talk about the other part that they mentioned. But yeah, I, I, what a fact! What interesting. A fact. What a fact. <laughs> Mine is not over nine pounds. Okay. Are you still using pineapple for your? Well, let me put you onto my favorite, which is actually a system called the traffic light. Aww. So it's super simple. It's just red, yellow, green. Let's get into okay. it. So green means all Easy. systems go, keep going. I find that it's rarely used, but still nice to have defined. Yellow means pause or slow down and check in. You maybe haven't reached your limit yet, but you need a breather. Red means full stop. If red is called, I essentially eject us from the scene and go straight into aftercare. For me, this should very, very rarely be called. I feel like it's my job as a dominant to figure out when and if someone's beginning to feel uncomfortable by reading them either verbally or physically. It's like a safe word. Yeah. For some folks, red means stop and check in, and they use a separate safe word to fully end the scene. So just define mm. it with your partner and stay consistent. And that's a traffic light system. Like and follow to learn more about uh, BDSM. I like that. This yeah. is another lovely educator that was on the zipper list. And have you ever used the traffic light system? I, rare, like she said, I rarely use green, but yellow and yeah. red is helpful. Yellow is really good with impact play as well, because especially people experiencing it for the first time, they can slow you down if the hits are getting too painful mm. for them to enjoy. Yeah. And then that doesn't mean that you can't ramp it up again. It just means slow it down for a little bit while I ease into this feeling. Yeah. It's a different way that people can use safe words. And while some people prefer the one word to stop something because they kind of know their body well, I think that this different kind of communication and different levels system is really useful for some people just getting into something maybe new or just experiencing kink on their own terms. Agreed. What's your safe word? <laughs> that was a good, that was, 
Yeah, that was a good one. Nice. That was a good one. I, I, I like Zipper's putting out this really good, useful information. Yeah. Uh, speaking of useful information, she's back at it again. All right. I don't use safe words. I don't think they're necessary. Is this a musical I don't know? I chimed in with the haven't you people ever heard of Panic at the Disco? Have you never heard of Panic at the Disco? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, red, 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 <laughs> red, red. Daddy. Is it a cartoon? What is it? Oh my God. I'm glad that's the last TikTok because whether you know who Panic at the Disco is or not, always have a safe word. Today's safe word is... Don't panic. What? <laughs> That'd be a terrible safe word. I don't know if that's funny or not because I don't know what it's Oh, it's funny. Okay. It, oh, it's funny. Okay. What? You, like, you don't understand the reference that they're from me? <laughs> don't panic. Panic. So again, thank you guys all for joining us, for recommending some of these TikToks and checking out today's sponsor, Helix Sleep and collaborator Zipper Magazine down below as well. And let us know if you want to see more TikToks. Woo! Then you have to go, you have to go, woo! Woo! <laughs> woo! Why is there like multiple? <laughs> woo! woo! <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more kinky, queer, or LGBTQ inclusive TikToks. Leave a like down below. Woo! Down below by and the ring the bell if okay. you like ringing bells. Uh -huh. <laughs> do I do that right? And subscribing helps too. But <laughs> give us one more woo, woo, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Ten well-endowed men from history. Ooh, I'm in King Charles two. Oh, I don't know which one that was. Wait, did you just say King Charles two? Yeah. As if like it's a sequel. <laughs> The second. The King second one. I, but I, I clarified I don't know exactly which one that was. It but, was the second. Well, clearly, but I don't know what they look like. King Charles II, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs>